This afternoon, police used water cannons to disperse a protest by unemployed graduates who are demanding jobs. Now, in addition, the Ceylon Electricity Board Engineers Union launched a work to rule campaign citing failed talks with authorities over their issues. Railway trade unions were prepared to go on strike from midnight today. University non-academic staff have threatened to go on strike once again, citing the solutions promised for their issues have not been met as yet. The Joint Unemployed Graduates Union launched a protest march this morning from Fort Colombo, demanding job opportunities in the public sector. <laughs> Police took measures to close Lotus Road and obstruct the march from proceeding and at the same time heavy traffic was experienced in the area. When the protesting unemployed graduates attempted to break through and proceed further, police used high pressure water cannons to disperse them. <laughs> After five representatives from the Joint Unemployed Graduates Union were permitted to discuss their issue with officials from the Presidential Secretariat. As these talks failed, the protesters moved away from Lotus Road and converged at the road leading to the parliamentary complex in Kote. <laughs> The Prime Minister said 1 million jobs will be created. We are only requesting 60,000 jobs. The graduates have not resorted to begging in the streets. Give us jobs. We say to the Prime Minister, do not mislead us again with promises to provide jobs. We urge the Prime Minister to start providing graduates with employment. There are roughly 60,000 unemployed graduates. If they cannot provide jobs to 60,000, how will they provide jobs for 1 million? There's no need to speak about 1 million jobs. We challenge them to create 100,000 jobs in the public service. Around 8,000 to 10,000 graduates enter the unemployed cluster annually. The ever-going number of unemployed graduates in Sri Lanka for a period of six years since 2012 has reached 57,000. In April this year, applications were called to recruit 20,000 graduates as some of the officers. However, this process has come under strong criticism as well. University non-academic staff today convened a media briefing claiming authorities have turned a blind eye to their requests despite having conducted protests for several days. Their main demand was for the promised 10% monthly arrears to be paid to them. The circular with regard to this 10% was issued on the 12th of April. Again, on the 27th of April, the chairman of the University Grants Commission issues a circular claiming the circular issued on the 12th will include circular 2018 forward slash 03. Conditions are being included into this. The chairman and the deputy chairman of the UGC are working based on their political appointments. They have done nothing that would benefit education at national level. Lists for universities come through the ministers. Requesting new recruitments be made. The university non-academic staff are uneasy over this situation. Four railway trade unions have given authorities a deadline until 12 noon tomorrow to solve their issues. Four trade unions representing the railway operators, controllers, station masters and engine drivers were to go on strike with effect from midnight today. However, it was postponed following a promise made to solve the issues before the deadline. We request for the salary to include the MP1 and MP2 scales as well as our professional salary scale. However, these committee recommendations have continuously been delayed by an unseen force. That is why we decided to go for a strike action at midnight. Sarat Amunugama made a phone call and said he would produce a cabinet paper on this tomorrow and will extend his complete support to solve this by tomorrow. <laughs> The Ceylon Electricity Board Engineers Union launched a work to rule campaign today as they did not receive a positive response for their requests made over the long-term power generation plan. Their campaign includes working only during their shift as well as not reporting to work following emergency calls. 
Since 2015, the CEB did not have a plan of constructing power plants. At present, the entire system is a mess as approval has not been sought from the Public Utilities Commission. Since we have no plan, not a single power plant was constructed after 2015. The CEB is facing an energy crisis. We have not been given a solution that we can be satisfied with. We have decided to launch a work to rule campaign. State Minister of Power and Renewable Energy Ajit P. Pereira said the matter will be taken up for discussion at the cabinet meeting tomorrow.